Okay, here we have 3.3 solving a system of linear equations with decimal coefficients. So um, in this section, we will um, now deal with the decimal values. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at each, each equation separately. Whichever term has the most decimal places, that's how many decimal places you're going to move. So I noticed that this term has two decimal places, this term has two decimal places behind the decimal. This decimal has two decimal places, which means I'm gonna have to move the decimal two places for every single term. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other. It has to be done to all the terms. So then the new equation becomes just 8x minus 11y equal to 92. Same thing for the bottom. This has two decimals, this has two decimal places, and that has two decimal places. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom one, is I'm gonna move that decimal over twice for every single term. You cannot move this one twice and that one three times and that one one time. Whatever you do, you have to do the same to all three. So this one becomes 4x, that becomes minus 6y, and then this becomes 48. And then you would solve that resulting equation. And just like the fraction um, problem, um, you can use these to solve in the back sub and all of that, okay? So again, I like to manipulate, I do not wanna manipulate the top one this time because I can't multiply eight by something to get four. I would have to divide, and I can't divide everybody by two because this guy's not divisible by two, okay? So in this particular problem, I'm gonna be forced to manipulate the bottom one. So I'm gonna wanna multiply the bottom one by a negative two so that this will become negative eight, canceling out with the positive eight. So that means I need to rewrite the whole top one and the more you have to rewrite, the chances you are to make a mistake. So always make sure you rewrite correctly. Here I have negative 8x, a negative 2 times a negative 6y will be positive 12y. And the negative 2 times negative 4 or times 48 is negative 98. Then I can add these two together now, eliminate the x's and I get 1y equal to negative 6, or just y equals to negative 6. And again, I can plug that value into either one of the equations, it doesn't matter. I usually like to use the one inside the bracket. Um, so I'm gonna say 4x minus 6 times negative 6. So I get 4x plus 36. So I'm going to minus 36. I get 4x equal to 12, divide by four, I get x equal to three. So what is the x coordinate? It's three, y coordinate is negative six, and this is the solution to the system. Now, let's look at b, because b is a little bit different. b has one place value here, one place value here, and no place values there. So I have to go with the highest number of place values. And since these guys had one, I have to go with one. So I'm gonna move the decimal over once, move it over once, and I have to move it over once here. When it's just a seven, it's a whole number seven, which means the decimal is invisible, but it is behind the seven. So when I move it over one, I've gotta fill in this new spot with a zero. So the new equation for the top becomes 28x minus six y equal to 70. Similarly for the bottom, I've got one decimal place here, one decimal place here, none here. I have to go with the most decimal places, which was one. So move this guy over one, move that one over one, move the invisible um, decimal over one. So then this equation becomes negative seven X plus 14 Y equal to 70. Now again here, I'm stuck in the fact that I can't you know, shrink that one down to a seven. So I am gonna have to multiply the bottom equation. And I'm gonna go ahead and multiply the bottom equation by four. And I wanna 
keep it positive 4 because then that would make this negative 28 and this is already a positive 28. So I'm going to rewrite the first one and then now I'm going to multiply the bottom one. So negative 28 um, plus 56y equal to 280. Then I'm going to add these guys together. That's going to cancel. I'm going to end up with 50y equal to 350. Divide by 50 on both sides. You get y equals 7. And then you can plug it back in. I always like to plug it back in in the one in the bracket. If none of them had brackets and they were able to cross out right away, then you just pick one. Um, negative 7 plus 14 times 7 equals 70. So negative 7x plus 98 equals 70. I think that's right. Let me check just because I always do weird things sometimes. Okay, good. It is 98. Then I'm going to minus 98. I get negative 7x equal to negative 28. Divide by negative 7 and I end up with x equals a positive 4. So the x coordinate was 4 and the y coordinate was 7. And that is it.